You can lose weight through nutrition without any diet. Today I'm going to give you four nutritional tips. Welcome back on Help Me Food. My name is Pasquale and I'm a nutrition and lifestyle coach. I discuss your healthy recipes, lifestyle changes and healthy tips like in this video. So if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing, click the bell for new updates and if you want, share this video on all the social networks and help me grow the channel. You can also follow me on my Facebook and Instagram pages where I always publish photos of my recipes and my meals and my dishes. So you can get meal ideas. You can also check my website for any information about the services I give. So don't be shy. Today I am with my assistant. You can properly see here but this just down here somewhere. Before to start, a disclaimer is necessary here. Any advice I'm going to give you today is just uh, general information. If you want to uh, follow a proper nutrition plan and some nutrition tips, you should always consider uh, asking your GP or your dietitian or your, your nutrition therapist advices before to start any kind of nutritional plan. So I don't want to annoy you anymore and let's start with the four tips. Just before to start, I'm not going to give you any uh, stupid tips like, you know, eat more vegetables, eat more fruit. Everybody knows that. Any, even children know that. I'm not here to give you any of these advices. I just want to give you any, uh, some practical advices. Simple things that can help you a lot to change your nutrition in a way that can help you to lose weight. So let's start. Tip number one is to have a, a protein-rich breakfast. Uh, proteins are really fulfilling and they give you a sense of society uh, more than other food. And having a breakfast rich of protein will give you um, a longer period of time where you feel full. Uh, I, us I usually advise to have uh, around 19 grams of proteins in the morning. You can get this amount of proteins even uh, from two eggs, but you can choose the source of protein you want. Um, it can be meat, it can be cheese, you choose. It's important just to get your 19 grams of proteins. If you side your uh, protein source with um, some carbs and some vegetables, let's say a slice of wholemeal uh, bread and a tomato, dressed with a bit of extra virgin olive oil, then you have a, a proper breakfast that can keep you going until probably 11 a.m., which is the, the thing I usually do. At 11 a.m. I'm going to have my morning snack and you can do it yourself. Tip number two is to organize your plate. While preparing your main meals like lunch or dinner, always think to split the plate in four sections. The first section, the first quarter, will be your source of protein. It can be chicken, it can be uh, beef, it can be eggs, whatever you want. The second quarter will be your source of carbs and that can be rice, couscous, bread and then the other two quarters of the plate, so half of the plate, will be your source of vegetables. So a huge source of um, nutritional fibers, um, vitamins, minerals and all the nutrients you need. And then on this plate you're gonna get your fats content from uh, dressings, it can be extra virgin olive oil or avocado, or any uh, mixed nuts and seeds. My advice is to always start with the vegetable first, then you because you start to build up uh, some fibers in your in your gut and the fibers tend to give you much more sense of fulfillment you get full easily and earlier so you don't overeat while the dog is complaining tip number three is to use the rainbow rule if you uh, prepare your source of vegetables um, you know your salad always use the rainbow rule always add different kind of vegetables with different colors because every color gives you different kind of vitamins and minerals and the more color you have in your plate the more uh, broader range of vitamins and minerals you're gonna add to your diet so your energy level uh, will boost for sure and uh, my advice is always to eat raw vegetables because they maintain and retain much more the content of vitamins and minerals while you eat your vegetables you destroy most of the vitamins because heat, heat is um, depleting all the uh, vegetables from the vitamins so if you don't want to eat raw vegetables at least use a very slow and gentle way of cooking like steaming or still frying. 
Tip number four is to avoid any fruit juice. Fruit juice are some way considered healthy foods, but they're not. When you drink a glass of juice coming from fruit, uh, you or you squeeze your orange, you're just gonna get um, a small amount of vitamins and no fiber, and the rest is sugar. And you are facing two kind of problems. Oxidation of the vitamins, which uh, if they stay in contact with the air, they get the, all the vitamins in the food get oxidated, and so the amount you're gonna get from your juice is gonna be lower than the food itself. And on the other side, not getting any nutritional fiber will create peaks in, a, in your insulin levels and raise your blood uh, levels in your bloodstream. So my advice is to always eat the whole fruit with the zest, which are gonna delay the absorption of the, of the sugar in your blood. Or you can decide to do something a bit different. Prepare the juice yourself, but vegetables juice. You can buy any uh, centrifugal juicer and I'll leave you in the box below the link of the one I used, but you can get any one, even a cheaper one. And what happens when you uh, process with a centrifugal juicer your vegetables, you're gonna get all the vitamins and all the minerals um, from the vegetables. But vegetables have, don't contain the same amount of sugar or sometimes they don't contain any sugar at all. So you won't create any peak level in your bloodstream. So I think it's a healthier solution. And all the fibers that you're gonna split from the juice can be used later. You can add it to your stews, you can add it to your uh, soups as an extra source of uh, fibers. This is great, isn't it? So this video was quite short compared to the first one where we discussed uh, some tips on lifestyle changes that could help you to lose weight. But if you could use the two uh, videos together to increase the possibility uh, to have a better uh, nutrition, then I, I can assure you your weight loss will be something like a, just a consequence of your action. I just reminding you to subscribe to the channel and click the bell to get new updates. And if you like the videos, please thumb up. You can also check my Facebook and my Instagram pages to get photos of my meals and my dishes. And you can understand how to cook your dishes in a healthier way. Is everything for now and I'm only left to say eat well, live well and smile and see you in the next video. Bye!